queries, permanent and temporary tables. Hello everybody, I am Narash Jasatani and I am a specialist customer engineer working at Google in AI and ML space. I'm gonna be a presenter for this course. I have published Adapting TensorFlow for Real World AI, which is available on Google Play Store as well as Amazon Kindle. Let's get started with permanent and temporary tables. So this is the query which we have written, wherein you have the Iowa liquor sales data set, the sales table. So let's look at, in the BigQuery public data, scroll down and you can search for it as well, but you look at Iowa liquor sales data. Please ensure to select a project and for my project, it is BDCS1 project. Ensure you have project selected over here and then let's talk about permanent and temporary tables. When you run this query, you would see that the query processed five gigabytes of data and it is fetched, the query fetches the data from the cache. This is what is happening in big big query. When you fire a query, the query goes, goes against a cache and gets the data. The cache is valid for 24 hours. The cache is valid for 24 hours. Now, if the query is changed, let's say I change this filter of the query. If you look at it, now it's not gonna be using the cache. It'll go down to the table, get the data, and then filter it. What's really happening is it took 11 seconds. Obviously, BigQuery is a managed platform and it's very fast. It's processing five gigabytes of data, which is the size of the table. And then in 11 seconds, it processed and got you the results. Let's look at this table, sales. And in the details section, you would look at, yeah, it's close to five GB of data. Now the concept of temporary table is the cache here in the query was nothing but it is picking up from the cache. The cache is nothing but a temporary table which is created based on that query and this is valid, gonna be valid for 24 hours. Now let's save this as a table which is known as permanent table. That means you can query directly against that table. How you can do that? Click on save results over here and you can save these results, export it in CSV format, one gigabytes to a Google Drive or 16,000 rows if you wanna download it locally, JSON file format, BigQuery table or Google Sheets. Let's use BigQuery table. And I'm gonna give a table name. I would say Iowa, sales 03022020 and i'm going to say save and you see that a job is running over here that means it's populating this table which is here iowa sales with this data set now i can do is just query this table directly this is how you have permanent table that means a table which is a snapshot of this query. You don't have to apply the filter anymore. And just change this to dot, there you go. You have this table as now a permanent table. Even if you keep running the previous query, that is your cached query for 24 hours. Then you can convert that into a permanent table, which I just showed you how to. I hope this was good. Now. As a hands-on exercise, you are gonna use these queries, which I just showed you, and start doing your practice. You can get the queries from the link mentioned in the video description section of this video. Thank you for watching.